so now we are going to insert some data and see if it's ready so the the task is in the replica replication ongoing and as you can see zero 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 now basically we're going to come to that main file and i'm going to insert certain data points i'm just going to run this file so all okay we got some data points and what i'll do is i i, I just want to show you that the data was inserted so i'm going to do select top thousand again you can see four data points right i mean previously we had data and then i inserted a couple of more right so if I do it again, I should have six or two more were inserted, right? So now what my anticipation here is to see those uh, changes to be captured. So let's wait for a while. So again, um, you will see that shortly here, okay? So just sort of be a little patient here. So again, I'm clicking here. I don't have, I don't have any errors here, which is a good thing, right? And I'm gonna go to the table statistics. And here you can see, I did capture four inserts, right? If I now head over to the S3, if I refresh, I don't have any data or I don't, I don't have any folder here uh, yet, but soon I will see a folder coming in. Also, I want to do an update here. So I'm going to do um, edit and then we're going to build a transaction data lake out of here. Okay. So I'm going to add a star star, right? So basically these are an updates that are happening on the da database, right? So let's see if we're able to capture that as well. Okay. So if I come here and if I again do the select one, and not sure if it's visible, but there is there is a star star. So I'll just basically show you here. So you can see these star, two stars have been added, right? So basically these were updates. So if I come back to my um, uh, DMS task, if I refresh here, and here you can see two updates were captured, which means our insert updates delete that happens on the table, we are capturing that those events, right? And now basically we are throwing everything into an S3 bucket, right? So at this point, I just gotta be a little patient and I just have to wait until I see, oh yeah, you, yeah, there you go. So yeah, invoice and there you go. That's our CSV file. I'm gonna show you one, open that up. And uh, hopefully you can see that I stands for insert, right? And the updates will come shortly, uh, right? So at this point, congratulations, you have successfully got the data from your table that are happening insert updates into an S3. Now again, uh, you might have duplicates. This is a raw zone. We gotta build a transactional data lake. I'm gonna show you the next part that, I mean, this the next part is transactional data lake. <laughs> All right, so now come to glue, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go to the glue uh, database. I'm gonna delete this one and start fresh. Okay, so click on add, add database and then click on EDW, click on the orange button and I have a database now, okay? Now uh, we gotta build a transaction data lake. So I'm gonna go to the job section. So probably I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna use the visual editor at this point. Okay, so here, um, where is my S3? Hold on, I gotta go to the S3 because I gotta copy the path for my data lake, right? Where the raw data is being dumping. So now head over to your S3 bucket guys, right? So that in my case, it was SQL server demo, raw, DBO, invoice. So I'm gonna click on the right side, which says copy S3 URI and then head back to my glue job. So in the source, I'm gonna dump this and automatically uh, I, I'll see the columns coming in here, which is absolutely fantastic, right? Now over here, uh, I'm gonna select the format as Apache hoodie, right? And then uh, the hoodie table name would be invoice. I'm gonna use a copy on write, I'm gonna do an absurd and the record key is gonna be an invoice ID, right? And then the dedupe, uh, the dedupe key will be op or you can use a timestamp attribute as well. Uh, the target would be also this particular bucket, but uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do quickly. Ah, all right, so the target, hopefully you guys can see Instead of raw, this would be hoodie underscore. Uh, so basically it's gonna go make a table there. Um, data catalog options, yes, I do want a, a, a catalog to be created. I'm gonna select the database as EDW. The table name would be TBL underscore invoice. Uh, partition key, eh, I don't need it. If you have additional options that you wanna add, feel free to add them. And that's, that's basically my job, right? So, the this is a script that has automatically been generated for me and at this point i'm gonna say kodi cdc cdc invoice i am row i'll select i probably have one 
rest everything i'm just gonna leave with everything to default i'm not gonna change anything click on the save button over here and then basically uh, go to the run tab click on run now you wanna make sure that you enable bookmarks which means you're gonna process data incrementally um, so now I'm going to wait for this to complete. And once this is complete, um, I should see my um, transaction um, data like created and I should be able to run my ad hoc queries using Athena. And at the same time, any insert update happens, the DMS is going to capture and it's going to basically bring those into S3. Uh, my glue job is running. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to start giving you some advices as well. Set the glue workers for production to auto scaling. Um, uh, uh, and if you are performing, uh, uh, let's say you're doing some joins, uh, you can use S3 as a shuffle storage as well, right? Um, but yeah, but for now, let's let's keep it, let's keep things easy and simple, right? Let's not complicate anything, right? So this should be done in probably a minute or so. And then you can set up, set this on a schedule. So you can create a schedule. You can set the frequency hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, custom, right? And that's it. It's literally that easy. You know what I mean? So it is in the running state. I'm going to wait. And uh, if you go back to the S3, if I go here, I should see something with the hoodie, DBO, invoice. And there you go, my parquet file, my base, uh, that's the base file or the parquet file. And this is the hoodie metadata. Um, I will go to, where is that, my glue job, uh, here. So the job should be complete, oh yeah, th there you go, it's complete. So now if I go back to my glue database, I should see a database uh, with that name. So where is my glue, hold on one sec, let me go to glue, come to the database section, and there you go, ADW, and there you go, my in a, the table. Now, at this point, I should be able to run my ad hoc queries, right? So basically come here. Uh, close here and then here I can do a preview table and at this point I can do ad hoc queries and here you can see all my data from my SQL server into a transactional data like we have done it. Congratulations so if you have followed this project with me um, and I hope you enjoyed this entire project. Uh, with that being said if you do believe I did a fantastic job uh, please make sure to hit the like subscribe and if you have any more questions drop those questions in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer. With that being said, keep smiling, keep learning, and I hope you enjoyed the weekend project.